Hello and welcome to this August 30th, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we're featuring Riverbed Technology, Inc., ticker symbol RVBD. This is about a $2.8 billion technology company. Uh, taking a look at the chart, you can see that we had gone up. We had topped in April like the overall market, but instead of continuing to pull back, you can see RVBD actually made a nice move back up, gapped up toward the end of July, up above this resistance just barely, and then ran with what we uh, call a Maribuzu, a Maribuzu candle. Uh, these are very bullish candles, um, and the primary features of these candles are that they opened uh, at the low of the day and they close at the high of the day so you get this sensation of having a um, very long candlestick with very small if any um, tails out the uh, sides of the candle or wicks or shadows whatever you refer to them as um, but the point being here is that we broke out we did it on very large volume we uh, opened at the low of the day. We closed almost exactly on the high of the day. These are very bullish candlesticks. This is also a continuation type of a gap up where we had a prior uptrend in play, went sideways for a while, and then gapped up with big volume, very heavy volume, and had this uh, Mirabozu candle. So things were looking very um, strong, very bullish for RVBD. We ran up a few more days, and then on the pullback, and most stocks you know not too many stocks go straight up we get a lot of stocks that will break out and then they'll come back and they'll retest and that's when we try to jump in on the long side is on that pullback when stocks are weak and you can see RVBD from the top near 38 came all the way back down below $32 below gap support below the the uh, prior price resistance which becomes price support and on this pullback actually printed a doji right here so off of the downtrend we had a doji which is a reversing candle the tail went down below price support below gap support but then we came back up and closed above it so that was a very bullish candle we then turned around and went right back up and on friday broke out above the late july highs actually i guess that's early august high uh, but you can see we had the breakout the volume was very strong again to the upside um, the MACD, some would look at this and say we have a negative divergence. Technically, we do. However, when we get a 50-day test between the two highs, I kind of look as though we've kind of gotten a reset on the MACD. So I don't view this quite as bearishly as I would if we had not gone back down close to the 50-day moving average between the two highs. So this is what I was referring to. you got a two highs, or, or higher high in price, but the MACD is much lower. So again, most would look at this and say it's a negative divergence. I don't really look at it that way. Again, to me, we've kind of reset when we went all the way back down near the 50-day moving average and then came back up again. So in my opinion, the MACD is just turning back up again, which I find to be very bullish. Uh, we do have the RSI up near 70, though, and Stochastics at 84. So if we get much more to the upside in the near term, I would expect to pull back simply because we're going to be overbought. Our, our momentum oscillators will both be overbought, so we have to be careful there. But any kind of a pullback at this point to $37.75, $38, would really start to look pretty interesting on that pullback. If you want to be a little conservative, you might just get a portion there and look for the 20-day as your second entry point. The 50-day moving average will continue to rise pretty quickly and that could be used as a line in the sand to the downside. But ultimately, RVBD, Riverbed Technology, looks like it wants to go higher here. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.